So hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and we're going to be talking about a little camera project I've had on the go for quite a while. It starts off um, about 18 months ago when I bought a CCTV lens which is basically this little thing here on the end of this camera and I'd read, well I watched a couple of videos on YouTube and read a little bit about them and uh, thought it looked uh, an interesting prospect they were only about between 13 and 16 pounds for the lens it was a 50 mil lens it's all manual so you expect it's going to be a bit more hard work than a regular lens but for that kind of money it was worth a try so i purchased one and at the time the only camera i had which could take a spare lens was the nikon d3300 now a D3300 with the mirror in it won't work with these little lenses. The distance between the end of the lens and the mirror is too great in the sensor. So I had to buy a mirrorless body. So after a while, rather than get rid of the lens, I'm going to buy a little mirrorless body. And that's what I did. I was looking for uh, one of the Panasonics or Olympus pens. Uh, but the prices of those were quite high, so I ended up electing for a Nikon 1. And it's only 10 megapixels, but with this type of lens it works quite well. So as I say, it's been an entirely manual lens, it is a little bit hard work. And especially because the CCTV lens, the focus ring and the aperture ring are on opposite ends to where you would expect on a normal uh, regular lens on a DSLR or a mirrorless camera so that gets a little bit confusing at times however some of the results you can get with this little lens are quite fantastic for the money one thing else I must say is that the aperture is stepless and the focus ring yep same again you just twist it and as you would with a regular camera unfortunately sometimes it does have a habit of working itself loose in the adapter it is worth persevering with the images you get have a lovely sort of swirly bokeh around the edges and it's really a nice effect. It's something that would be hard to achieve in anything other than editing in post. So yeah, if you are looking for a, a little camera and lens setup, I mean I paid what, £30 for the body and the lens I say was £13. Um, so the adapter another fiver it's not cost you an awful lot of money to get a little outfit that can turn out some unique images so if you want to know more about this lens just ask some questions in the comments below i'll be more than happy to uh, share my experience with it in the meantime have a look at some of these images i've taken today and earlier this month in this same forest here and uh, it's, it's fantastic for this kind of intimate shots of flowers and tree bark ivy leaves things like that i've yet to try it as a portrait lens but i think it'll work quite well for that as well because you'll get kind of nice dreamy feel to those photos so you'd have your subject and then the background is going to be quite nice and blurred <music>
hope you've enjoyed it hope you found it useful if you have give us a subscribe and uh, a thumbs up that'll be great and i'll see you again next time thanks for watching bye for now